Check this out. Might be my favorite meal of all time. Also the simplest. Barbecue elk backstrap, sweet potato slices. Welcome back to the vlog. Tonight's meal was courtesy of this <laughs> really cool bowl that my dad shot last fall. Full story of this hunt is on my YouTube channel, link below. But today's vlog is not specifically about elk hunting. It's about unboxing of a whole pile of hunting, photography, etc. gear, which is all right there. So let's, uh, let's dive into some unboxing. <laughs> so I've been gone about the last two weeks and I ordered a pile of stuff while I was gone and all showed up to my doorstep pretty much at once. Let's jump into it. First up, we got four 64 gigabyte memory cards. That's a bit of a tease what's coming up next. Also, some nocturnals in here. Lighted knocks for hunting. I personally think you're kind of crazy not to hunt without these things. They just allow you to see exactly where your arrow goes, even in bright light. Really, really awesome thing to add to the end of your arrow. Next up, I actually already opened this because I was just so excited. <laughs> this is the new DJI Mini 3 Pro latest kind of prosumer drone from DJI. One really cool thing about this drone, among other things, is that you can actually flip the, like, flip the sensor vertically so you can shoot vertical video clips, which in today's day and era, with Instagram reels and the value of vertical videos, like, this thing's pretty sick. So expect a lot more drone footage uh, for me in the future with this guy. More trail cameras. Two more Browning Recon Force HD cameras. This is my go-to trail camera. Now I have 27 because the other 25 that I have are all out in the field, hopefully recording some elk doing epic things. Next up, this is the Jacked Gear bow sling. This bow sling, it mounts on your bow. You can throw it over your shoulder, hike with it, and then as soon as you want to shoot, you don't have to take the bow sling off. It just kind of with a magnet pushes off to one side. You go ahead and shoot. It's epic. I've never actually used this, but I've seen a bunch of people use it at the Big Sky Total Archery Challenge, and I was like, oh my god, I have to have that. Looks pretty slick, so more to come on this piece. Master locks for the trail cameras. Another Browning Recon Force trail camera. Got a whole goodie bag here. This is a Black Diamond Baud climbing harness. I've been playing around with tree saddle hunting and tree stands and doing it for elk. And I've actually found that using a rock climbing harness is really awesome. I'm probably gonna get in trouble for saying this. The tree stand safety Association of America is probably gonna get mad. I don't really know much about tree stand hunting, but what I do know is that climbing harnesses are way more easy to use than traditional tree stand harness. So, yeah. This is called Lifeline. This allows me to attach to the base of the tree before I go up in the tree. It prevents me from falling out. Got some uh, Allen camo tape. Put on some clanky metal things that I have. Keep it quiet in the woods. This right here, this is the Arctic Shield boot insulator and I definitely own a lot of pairs of boots and one thing that always kind of blows my mind is like why hasn't anyone made insulation for your feet you know we've got insulation for our for our head our upper body our, our fingers our pants but there's no insulation for our feet we just have our thin little leather pleather synthetic boots that are like that thin and that's the only barrier to the outside world that we have uh, especially on those really cold days. And so I've actually used these a few times on previous hunts and they're called, again, Arctic Shield boot insulators. They're basically just an insulation layer that goes... They're basically just an insulation layer that goes over your feet. And it's kind of shocking how warm these things are. And they basically just allow you to stay out there longer. They allow you to use your one favorite pair of hunting boots throughout the entire season kind of a mind-blowing product so instead of going with you know multiple pairs of boots and having one really late season pair just throw these in 
throw them over your boots when you stop the glass or you're sitting out on a glass and object's hanging out, I'm like your feet are gonna be super dusty. Next package, this one, it says awesomeness inside. It's, it's not that awesome. The thing that I, that I already opened up is pretty awesome. This is just an accessory for that already awesome thing. Uh, these are a trail camera security box, basically a metal lock box that you put your camera in to prevent theft as well as prevent animals and stuff from chewing on your camera. So, two of them. <laughs> uh, Q-tips for my ears. Five inch zip ties because you just never know what you might need zip ties for. It's uh, currently 95 degrees here in my house. Ordered a fan, get the air moving. Another Arctic Shield boot insulator. This is for my wife, Karen. She's got tiny feet. I have medium large feet, so one for each of us. This little thing right here, never tried it. This is on it. This is the Alpha Brain. I'm just kind of looking for ways to bike my focus, my creativity, just be more inspired. Uh, in addition to cold showers and cold therapy, thought I might try this. So, Alpha Brain from On It. I'll let you know how it goes. This right here, this is a 24 foot retractable dog leash. I don't have a dog, but I learned this from a fellow YouTuber. Uh, when you are tree stand hunting, instead of having one of those haul ropes that, you know, so when you climb up the tree, then you got to like lift up your bow, then you got this big wad of, of paracord, you can instead take a dog leash that extends, and as you climb the tree, it's going to do this. And then when you get to the top of the tree, and you pull your bow up, this thing just retracts, and then you don't have this big cord to deal with. This thing was $5 from Harbor Freight. The next cheapest one is like $15 and it's just a paracord. Little uh, haul rope hack that saved me some money as well as hopefully saves me some tangled messes while I'm up in the tree. I got two of them. This is a delimbing saw. Where I've got my tree stand set, there's a bunch of limbs that are too far out of reach and they're totally in the way. This is like a 16 foot retractable. Um, limbing saw, so I'll be able to go up in the tree, reach out with this, saw the limbs down, have my shooting paths cleared. But where I have my tree stand set, it is on private land, and uh, on that piece of private, they're doing a bunch of tree thinning. So as far as like the leave no trace ethics and whatnot, that doesn't really apply because they do actually want to thin those trees in that area. So if I was on public land, I probably wouldn't be doing this. I'd probably just find a tree that was in a good spot and not do any delimbing of any sorts. So, FYI. All right, next up, got a new Yeti Panga in this tan color. So these are really sweet bags. They're fully waterproof. They're really burly. <laughs> yeah, one of, one of the burliest bags I've ever used. Uh, we've taken this on river trips. Uh, this thing is like frozen rock solid before. Still works great. So got a new, new tan look. And last item. Bet you can tell what this is. <laughs> this is also a new Yeti Panga. Panga 75, the other one was a Panga 50. So this one's a little bit bigger. Again, fully waterproof luggage. Great for river trips, anything, anytime you're getting really wet. These things are pretty bomber, so. All right, well that was a wrap on all this unboxing. That was a lot of gear. Now I've got a lot of cardboard gotta take out to the dumpster. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for following along. I will do some more gear breakdowns, uh, especially on some of the stuff that I got. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe. That would help me out a ton. We'll see you next time.